Hi, my name is Malaya Bazilian, and today we're going to be covering interpretive perspective, um, the per interpretive perspective within communication theory. Um, so I actually chose interpretive just because um, that's where I feel the most um, relate, like I feel relation and relatable to um, interpretive theory because that's kind of how I view the world for the most part. Um, I don't really feel like there's a hard um, yes or no to a lot of questions and to a lot of um, a lot of things in life. I really like to leave it up into the gray area. Um, I I don't I try not to judge people based on their perspectives on things and their views on things because most likely it comes from a place where um, I will never be able to understand because I haven't walked in your shoes. And so um, today I'm going to kind of be covering a little bit of this um, and whatnot through my model. So I made this half of the paper and it just says interpretive perspective on it and I wrote some words down. Um, I talked about how um, in research we can see how interpre interpretive perspective is used um, whenever there's a qualitative approach to research, especially through observation and questioning of par the participants. So for example, I looked at a research article recently that talked about um, how black women can have a really hard time communicating with health providers um, due to lots of different things. Um, but that's something that their perspective on that is something that I will never understand because I'm not black um, in America. And um, so that was just kind of interesting to me. But the way that they got, through, got to um, hear the perspectives of these women um, was through um, observing them in conversations with their doctors and also questioning them about um, their how they communicate um, their pain or um, concerns with their health providers. So um, that's kind of an example of how this interpretive um, perspective can take place in research. Um, I, I love this. So by Catherine Miller in her book, um, in the textbook that we're research or that we're reading through right now. Um, she uses the word subjective for interpretive, which I loved. And she also talked about a little bit of meaning making and stuff. And to me, meaning making is all about symbols and um, how we as humans assign meaning to things, um, which again is all interpretive. Um, communication or interpretive perspective also um, means that communication isn't like a simple thing. It's very complex and has a lot of um, different layers to it. Um, and then I wrote a question right here that just said, like, what is your background? Where are you from? Um, because I think that goes to tell us a lot about um, people's perspective on things and um, kind of give us uh, the, um, give us the, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, give us the background for interpretive perspective to happen, I guess. Um, but yeah, so the other side of my paper, I created a collage of pictures, which I'll kind of um, go through here in a minute, um, but I wanted to actually point something out. So this shirt looks gray on the screen. Um, I would call this shirt blue, but I had a student today who um, commented and said that they really liked my green shirt. So that's in one way that interpretive um, perspective can kind of even show itself is through, you know, how we view things and whatnot, which is what I'm about to get into. So this, these kind of are all pictures that really help me um, understand the interpretive perspective. Um, I keep wanting to call it interpretive theory, but interpretive perspective. Um, so I put this right here, which is like a, um, it's different color hues of blue, blues and greens and stuff. And I was laughing because um, I was talking about with someone in the department about how growing up my dad and I would get into like actual arguments about um, blue and green and I would be wearing a shirt and he would be like oh I love your blue shirt today and I'd be like dad it's green and we would get into these arguments about it kind of like what I mentioned with my shirt um, and we have different definitions of what blue is and different definitions of what green is it doesn't mean either one of us is wrong or right it's just means that we have different um, 
perspectives of it, which I thought was hilarious. Um, this right here is um, Michelangelo's um, Sistine Chapel ceiling. Um, I have never had the pleasure of going here, sadly. But um, in high school, um, I'd always been taught prior to that this was a picture of Adam and God and his angels reaching and touching hands and whatever to show like um, how close God is to us as humans. And what's funny is in high school, my teacher actually pointed out, he was like, well, yeah, that's one perspective of it. But then another perspective of it could be that, you know, this is a brain that God and his angels are sitting in. And this is like the stem of the brain. And he's actually imposing his knowledge onto man. And that totally like shook me up. It doesn't mean either one is wrong. They're both right. I don't know. I've never, I could never talk to Michelangelo and ask him. I thought that was so interesting. Um, kind of another way that interpretive perspective um, can take place in our everyday lives. Um, then I think of like the outlet here. Um, as a child and still as an adult, I see a face. Um, but some people see a pl something to plug their outlet or their computers or chargers or whatever into. Um, and so again, another way that this is takes place. Um, this dress went very viral in 2015, I think it was. Um, some people thought that it was blue and black. I think it's blue and black. But some people saw white and gold, which was so crazy to me. Um, but it's funny how that, again, perspective and um, interpretive perspective takes place here. Um, I have the clouds here because, you know, sometimes we can look at the clouds and you know, my, my husband and I love to do this on our road trips. We, we ride driving down the road and, um, I will see like a monkey and he'll see like a Ferris wheel. And it's like, okay, again, neither one of us are wrong. It's just kind of our, um, how we interpret it. Um, the half glass, the glass half full or the glass half empty. I mean, it's both. Um, but Again, depending on how you interpret it. And lastly, I put leapfrog down here, which I know is so funny, but like I used to love leapfrogs as a kid. And I have two little sisters that are toddlers. One is five and um, the other one is three. And they think that the leapfrogs that I grew up with are extremely boring because the leapfrogs they have are digitized and they have fun like sounds and games and all of that. And I think so much of how, like, I think that it's fun too, but like they think my version of leapfrog is boring. And so again, interpretation of um, what's fun, what what equates fun. Um, we even see that in our in children um, and whatnot. And so these are just kind of some different like ways that I view um, how we interpret things and how we see the world. I mean, even whenever I was coming up with like different pictures to think of and stuff, I thought about my wedding ring and how like, you know, to some people it's just a ring, but to me, it was my mom's wedding ring with my dad and um it's a it's a ring that um has a lot of family value to it, but also is a symbol of my husband and I's love for one another. And so anyways, it's just funny how we all view things so differently. Um we all interpret things so differently. And yet it all depends on like where we came from and our background and um, none of us are necessarily wrong um, or right or whatever, but we all get to have our own perspective on things. And I think that's really beautiful and that kind of is what makes us human. And so um, that's kind of my my interpretation of interpret um, interpretive perspective um, in communication theory. Um, but yeah.